Welcome to Model Lessons in Mathematics, Elementary Science and Technology, Social Studies, Creative Arts, Physical Education for Lower Primary Grades, produced by Rwanda Education Board in collaboration with the World Bank. Hello children, my name is Elisa, teacher Elisa once again. Uh, I'm here to teach you uh, about an XO laptop. I very well know that you learned about an XO laptop in P2, right? And uh, we have our, our XO laptops. Everyone, each of you, I think, has an XO laptop. So, I will need you to have them on your tables, such that we learn more about this very important gadget, very important uh, device known as an XO laptop. So I have my XO laptop too here. This is an XO laptop. When we talk about an XO laptop, we mean this. Now, before we go to the parts of the keyboard, as it is, as you can see here, parts of the keyboard of an XO laptop, I want us to remind us ourselves about the other parts, the other parts of the XO laptop. I want to see whether we can remember them very well. So I want you to tell me uh, the parts of an XO laptop from this chart you have seen here. This chart you are seeing here is a diagram showing an XO laptop. And uh, it is not showing all the parts, but at least we can remind ourselves with the parts that are shown on the diagram. So which part is this one? Who can tell me this part here? Yes? Yeah, this is the screen. This is the screen. So from here you can see the screen. This part here is the screen. Mm. Who can tell me this part here? This part. OK, tell me. Yes, a speaker. So this is a speaker. I've not put the words, but I think that you know them from your previous class P2, you know these parts, but I wanted us to remind ourselves about the parts of the key of the XO laptop. So who can tell me this part here? This part here. Yes, tell me. Yes, a keypad. No, not a keypad, this is a touch pad, not a keypad. A touch pad. Right. You are correct. So, and lastly, maybe, let's look at this part here, which is shaded green. The part that is shaded green here. You can tell me its name. Okay. Yes, that is the keyboard. That is the keyboard, you are lucky even it is labeled a keyboard. Where do we find a keyboard on our XO laptop? This is the keyboard. This part here, it runs from this side, going this side, down here, down here. This green part here, that is the keyboard of an XO laptop. So, 
from there, I want us to break it down. I want us to break it down. We look at what makes up a keyboard. What are the parts that make up a keyboard? Now, before that, we know that a keyboard is the part that we use when we are typing. When you want to type any piece of work, you use a keyboard to type. So let's, let's break it down. Let's break it down. We can move to this chart here. Uh, uh, this chart is showing the parts of the keyboard of an XO laptop. Parts of the keyboard of an XO laptop. So what you are seeing in green is an extract of this one here. What you are seeing in green is an extract of this or this one here. The keyboard. It's called the keyboard. Now, first and foremost, the major parts of a keyboard of an XO laptop are the major parts of an XO laptop are one, we have the part that consists of, that is made up of letters, what we can call the letter keys, letter, letter keys. When we are learning about, uh, when we are learning about a telephone, we talked about these two letter keys, and we said that here when I talk about keys, I mean the buttons. So we have buttons which show letters, and therefore those ones are referred to as letter keys. We have another part that is composed of numbers. Another part that is composed of numbers, that is the number keys. Number keys. Those ones automatically show the numbers on the, key, on the keyboard. So another one, that is the third one, is about uh, the special keys. Special, the special keys. The special keys. We said that this, when we are talking about a telephone, we said that the special keys majorly are those that show punctuation marks, if you can remember very well. Uh, when we talk about punctuation marks, we mean uh, the commas, uh, the question marks. Uh, we also have the hash, the star, and so on and so forth. So those are the special keys that are on our keyboard. So I want us to identify these three, letter keys, number keys, and special keys from our diagram there. So let's all have our eyes on the diagram. Thank you, I'm liking you because you are following very well. So we have this part here, the first one. This one, let's leave it and go to this line here. This is where we find our numbers. Uh, children, can you see the numbers very well? We have number one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. Remember we said that we can't have 10, we can't have 11, because those numbers can be formed using the already existing numbers here. Is that OK? Uh, I want to have a small song about this, uh, these numbers. I will sing uh, this song. Uh, you, you help me and join me. It is about numbers. So I'll be saying, number one, number one, where are you? Then you repeat also after me. Can we sing together? Number one, number one, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Number two, number two, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Number three, number three, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Number four, number four, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Number five, number five, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Number six, number six, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Number seven, number seven, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Number eight, number eight, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Number nine, number nine, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Number zero, number zero, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? I hope you liked it. You can clap hands for yourselves. Yeah. Let's continue and see the next, which is, in the next line here, we have the part that shows letters. The part that shows letters, and these are the letters of alphabet. They are not in order, like we always know A, B, C, D, but the reason is when we are typing using we use our two hands. So these letters are distributed in a way that when we are typing, each, uh, each hand has a letter to type. We shall explain that in the other coming lessons. Okay? So we have letters Q, W, E, R, T, Y, U, I, O, P, A, S, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, Z. Some people sound it like Z. X, C, V, B, N, and lastly, M. So those are the letters. All the letters are represented. When we are learning about uh, the key part of a telephone, we said the letters that make up the keypad are 26. So even here at uh, the keyboard of an XO laptop, we also have 26 letters. Okay? Thank you so much for listening. Now, I want us to identify the special keys from our chart there. The special keys, uh, I picked some, not all, are represented here. We picked some. Uh, these are the special keys. I numbered them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, in that order. So 
here, number one here, when you see this, this symbol here, I can write it, and you see, it is this symbol here. It's not letter Q, but it has something of this kind. It is this symbol here. This one, as you can see, it is the search key. The search key. The search key, what is to search? If you want to search for information, that is where you place. That is where you place and you search. It is very well shown here. The second key here. One, two, that is the, the search key. So if you want to search, place there. Two, it's here. That is the brightness control or brightness control keys. These two here. What do, what do they do? One. These ones, if the first one here, the smaller one, reduces the brightness of the screen. If you want to reduce the brightness of the screen, you simply place on this one. If you want to increase, you place on the second one here. So they in, uh, these two keys increase or decrease the brightness of the screen. Number three, here. These ones are the volume control keys. Volume with the sound. If you are playing a video, you are playing a song, and maybe you want to increase the volume or you want to reduce the volume, you place these keys here. This, the first one is to decrease, and the second one is to increase. The fourth one here is the frame key. The frame key. You know what a frame is? Frame, a frame is this one. So if you are typing a document, you are typing some work and you want to frame it, you, this key will give you the options. It will give you the options for the frames and you choose the one you want to use. Number five is about the erase key. To erase, this word erase can also mean to delete. Can also mean to delete. To delete is to remove, uh, if you are typing and you make a mistake and you remove, you want to remove that mistake, you delete it or you erase it. That is where you touch. Number six is the enter key. The enter key. So when you are typing, and maybe you want to go on the next line, you have typed, you want to go on the next line, you press this key. It will take the cursor to the next line. This is number six. That is the enter key. Number seven, it has four keys, one, two, up, three on the side, four. Those keys are meant to, to move either when you are typing a word, for example, you want to move the cursor to the right or to the left or up or down. So you use this. If you want to move the cursor to the left, here, you use this one. To the right, you use this one. Up, you use this one here. And down, you use this one. Uh, then we have number eight. Oh, sorry. This one shouldn't be there. This number eight here is the space bar. The space bar, when you are writing and you want to space your words, or you want to create a space in your words, you use that 
It is very well seen here. This is a longer button. This longer button is the space bar. This longer button is the space bar. You can see it very well. So when you are typing, you have finished writing a word, place this bar, it will create a space between your words. Thank you. So we have the alt key. Alt, alt is to change. This one here. This one can change from maybe letters to, to symbols. This key here, number nine. Number 10, the shift key. This one here, shift. To shift or to use the, when you are using the shift, when you place shift, the second option on a, a button comes up. For example, if you look at this, where there is eight, where there is eight, on top there is a star. Where there is eight, on top there is a star. So when you press eight, uh, when you press that button, eight comes up. But if you want that star, that is the second option, you have to press shift, you hold press and hold shift, then you press eight. Are you getting me? So like you say shift, then eight. Don't remove the finger on the word on the button. Press shift, then eight. The star will come. Or will show up on the screen. Mm. Those are the keys we have learned about today. We shall add on more next time, of course. I want us to move If you have questions, you can ask. But before that, I have my own questions to ask about what we have studied. For, uh, before the questions, we have seen that the major parts or the main parts of the keyboard of an XO laptop are one, the letter keys that show the letters, two, the number keys that show numbers from one, to zero, or from zero to nine, from zero to nine. But zero is always at the extreme end. Then we have the special keys, these ones which give, or which show the symbols to use when you are typing your document. And we have seen all this broken down here on our chart. We have seen the part that shows numbers. We have seen the part that shows the letters, we have seen the part, we have seen the parts that show the, the symbols we can use, the search keys there, brightness keys, we have seen the volume control, we have seen the shift, the space bar, enter, and so on and so forth. So I want us now to move to our homework. Well, before that, I, I promised to ask some questions. I promised you to ask some questions. So if I can ask how many parts or major parts of the keypad or keyboard of the XO laptop, do you know? Yes? We have the letter keys, yes. We have the number keys, yes. The special keys, thank you. Now, what does the shift key, what does the shift key do when you are writing? Or how is it helpful when you are writing? How is the shift key 
helpful when you are typing work. Yes? Yeah, thank you. It gives you the second option on another key. Gives you the second option on another key. What do you do? What do you do? If you have made a mistake in your document, you are writing and you have made a mistake, what do you do? Yes? Yeah, thank you. You can, you press the erase button or the key that has the word erase. And we say the, the word erase can mean to delete. So when you press, just one press, it removes the letter. Another place, it removes another letter. So you can come up with the correct thing. Thank you. Now, what if I am writing and I want to move to the next? I want to move to the next line. I want to move to the next line. What do I do? If I want to move to the next line, uh, you can tell me. Mm, you press enter. Just once like that, ta, you, the cursor will move to the next line. Those are the questions I have for you. I want to switch to the homework for today. Our homework today are just a few numbers, one, two, three, four. Very simple for you. Whereby we have Number one, say, name the two parts of an XO laptop. Any, any two parts. That is number one. Number two, write OLPC in full. Number three, the keyboard of an XO laptop has the following parts. Name them, three. And lastly, draw a small diagram, a simple diagram of an XO laptop and show the keyboard. Very simple questions. I want to thank you for listening. We meet in the next lesson. God bless you.